The TA Marischal Community College will receive technical and infrastructural support from GIZ to establish a regional training center for natural refrigerants at the college. This support includes $50,000 worth of equipment to upgrade the laboratory which will contain eco-friendly R290 air-conditioned units. The MOU was signed on Tuesday between Jeffrey Britton, principal at the TA Marichaux Community College, and Marian Geese, head of GIZ Grenada. As part of the agreement under the MOU, the GIZ will provide assistance in areas including faculty and staff development in the programs they teach, identifying trainers and training material, and developing training curriculum for natural refrigerants. GIZ will also assist in the enhancement and infrastructure needs of the refrigeration and air conditioning program at TAMCC. Marion Geese, head of GIZ Grenada, spoke of their involvement in the project. So we know that um, climate change in this region is real. And um, with projects like this, um, where we're looking at energy efficient and glow, low global warming potential, so climate friendly appliances in the cooling sector is really contributing to mitigating the effects of climate change. Principal Jeffrey Britton believes this initiative is quite timely. I will take this opportunity to express our gratitude to GIZ and the Ozone Unit for the consistent contribution to the upgrading of HVAC workshop tools and equipment at TAMCC. At this event, we are honored to be given the opportunity to sign an MOU with GIZ for the training program on natural refrigerant technology, better known as school training. This is an opportunity to reinforce a highly qualified and skilled workforce within the refrigeration and air conditioning sector with a commitment to improving the capacity and sustainability of RAC industry in Grenada. National Ozone Officer Leslie Smith spoke of what is required by the college to fulfill its mandate under the MOU. TAMCC, under this agreement, would uh, be responsible for curriculum review and quality assurance. So they will prepare in consultation with technical experts a training curriculum that includes both theoretical and practical components. And uh, they will invite GIZ to designate representatives to serve on the advisory committee of the RSC department and seek guidance in the development and offering of new training programs. TAMCC will also provide training support so they will select faculty and staff to participate in capacity building initiatives to ensure conformity with the local and international best practices and to make available the HVAC laboratory and classroom facilities to conduct training. Very important. Reporting for GBN News, Beverly Tellisford.